All right, I just woke up getting ready for game number two here, and again, quick disclaimer before we get, quick, I'm sorry, quick disclaimer before we get started, I'm not doing this for views or attention, I am aware, well aware, that this probably won't get a lot of views, maybe none at all, actually, and I'm only doing this to, I'm just doing this to um, improve my chess and practice my public speaking, occasionally I'll probably talk about some things that are on my mind while playing through chess games, if there happens to be anyone out there who wants to watch, then that's awesome that's absolutely fantastic but I'm not doing this for views just here to practice public speaking and I think we're ready to get started here just uh, testing out my microphone a little bit before getting started uh, recording this so game number two let's play 1510 um, my rating went from 1450 to 1462 last time white again with the white pieces will play e4 this time uh, c5, this is the Sicilian defense, the c5, it's actually the most common, uh, it's the most common move on move 1. Now for black, we're going to play the regular knight to f3, and usually black plays d6 here. Yes, he does play d6, and we'll play the standard, uh, do I want to play anything different? I mean, I don't think so. Standard d4, this is the most popular opening in chess, I believe. Uh, the Sicilian defense, and then the this is the main line, I believe. Knight takes next, and then he'll play knight to f6 here, and then I'll play knight to c3. That's what they usually play, unless they play a6 first. Sometimes a6 is played here. Well, I guess black can do a, a bunch of different things here. We have a seagull. We're playing against a, an actual seagull this time in Selexus. I think that's how you say that, Selexus. I, I highly doubt it's a, a real seagull that I'm playing against. I mean, seagulls don't have thumbs, so I don't know how he would, uh, how he would, like, uh, I guess you don't need thumbs to make the chess moves with the mouse. So here we go, knight to c3, simply defending the pawn with knight to, knight to c3 in response of knight to f6. Let me take a drink of coffee real quick. Alright, there it is, a6. This is called the Nydwarf variation of the Sicilian defense. Um, and now what should I play next? That is the question. I think bishop to e3 is the most played move here. Another one is bishop to g5. Um, f4, maybe, in, in uh, developing the light squared bishop to either c4 or e2. I think I will just play bishop to e3. I'll go bishop g5, actually. It's, what is this? It just says Sicilian defense, open Nidor variation 6, bishop g5. So apparently this is still a main line. Bishop d7. It it doesn't um it doesn't think that's part of the main line, I guess. Okay, so f4 is a move I'm looking at. Um if I play f4 he can play h6. And then I play bishop to h4. I like f4, actually. I think I'm going to play f4. Actually, let's develop this bishop first before playing f4. I think bishop e2. I think bishop c4 actually because if I play bishop c4 and then he plays b5 it's okay because it's kind because that makes this kind of a wasted move because he's not going to play the bishop to b7 so let's play bishop c4 again it's 1510 so there's a lot of time you can take a lot of time to think about what you want to do Oh, I forgot. I think I forgot to mention the name of the website in the last video I did on Sunday. 
Um, this is chess.com, by the way. If you want to, like, if anyone happens to be watching, then uh, chess.com is the website, and you can just come to chess.com and play whenever you want, if, if you're interested. Um, so b5 is played. I think just simply bishop to b3 is fine. But now he's not playing bishop b7, so he lost a, a move here, technically. So um, I don't, I'm not really looking to castle queen side because of this open c file. All right, and knight to c6. I think castles. Castling looks like a pretty good move. I'm expecting him to play b4 at some point. Now, I would. I think I would like my bishop on e3 now. I don't think it's doing anything on g5. He might castle queenside. Well, he. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just assumed his gender. Its gender. Him slash hers gender. So he's attacking my knight twice now. I think a good move would be bishop e3. And then I'm thinking about playing f4. Maybe king h8 too. King, I'm king h1, sorry. Just king h1 is called a prophylactic move. Where you just make your position a little bit better. Get off this diagonal that might open up eventually. And now I'm threatening a discovered attack against his queen. Okay, so f7 seems to be a little weak. If I play bishop takes on f7, king takes, knight, no, wait, never, no, never mind, never mind. Uh, this square is still defended by the bishop. I like f4, I like queen f3. Thinking about other ways to improve my position. That seems like a wasted move for his queen because after I dropped my bishop back, he just had to he just went back to c7. I'm ready to play knight d5 at any point and challenge the knight on f6. I mean d5 is a pretty good square for the knight. I could play bishop d5, knight takes, knight takes, and my knight is really strong there, but it can be kicked away with e6. I think f4. I like f4. f4, king h1. Actually, no, I might want to take with the queen if he takes my knight. It's Friday morning, by the way, and like I said, I'm going to be recording these on Fridays. I've decided on Fridays. Why am I recording these on Fridays? I have no idea. I really have no idea. Just uh, picked a random day of the week. Well, not really random, but like, I just like the idea of recording on Fridays. And now he's attacking my bishop with knight a5. So it looks like I'm going to lose the bishop pair. It looks like I'm going to lose the bishop pair. But that's okay. I'm thinking bishop d5. Simply bishop d5. Attacking the rook, forcing his knight to take on d5. And after knight takes, knight takes, my knight is attacking his queen, and it's a pretty strong piece in the middle of the board. It's what it looks like anyway. Let's do that, pre-move this move. I could take with the pawn, but I don't see a reason to. I wonder how long it will take me to get my first loss on video. I hope that doesn't mean I lose this game. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Okay, so b4 would be a bad move. It'll just drop the knight. b4. It would drop this knight, and then I would double my pawns by recapturing. B4, queen takes, pawn takes, queen takes, bishop check. That would be ugly for me. 
So I'm thinking about e5 here. Pawn takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Queen f3 is another move I'm looking at. I'm thinking king h8. I mean king h1, sorry. I keep saying king h8. That's h8. This is h1. Very, very different squares. So I think king h1. I'm just going to get off this diagonal. Although he is prepared to play... Hold on. If he plays b4... I have to move the knight, and then this pawn is very weak. But the knight, the knight is still defending. I'm okay. I'm okay there. I can play king h1. I can play rook c1. This knight's defending this. There's really no uh, d5 stuff at the moment. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Well, I guess there is something there, but I will pre-move this knight capture. All right, so now I have to retreat the bishop. Or do I? If I play If I play e5, pawn takes bishop, I mean pawn takes pawn takes knight. And then Or what if I play e5, he plays pawn takes. I play pawn takes, he plays queen takes. Huh. I think, I think I'll just play bishop back to b3. And then after knight takes, pawn takes, my rook has an open file. I'll just do that. I feel like there was something there, though. Like, if I had played e5, I feel like there would be something there. Let's pre-move this one. I could take with the knight, but I like the fact that I have an open file for my rook. I'd be attacking the a6 pawn. b4, okay. b4 it is... So, knight to d5 would be sacrificing pawn takes, pawn takes. I would have an open e file, but it, the pawn's not taking with discovered check. There's no, there's no rook on e1. The, the e file isn't open enough for any knight sacrifice on, on d5. So, I think just. I think just knight to e2 is fine. I don't really see any other good move. Yeah, I don't like knight to e2, though. It's blocking the diagonal for my queen. If I play knight a4, bishop takes, bishop takes, check. I don't know about knight to a4, but... Sure, let's try it. Hey, the, the worst possible outcome of this game is an L. The, wor the, the worst possible outcome is a loss, so I don't mind. If I, I don't mind too much if I lose this game, because we got to get the first loss out of the way eventually. Even if it is only episode two. I mean, uh, game number two on, on my channel. Let's take another drink of coffee real quick. Uh, ice cold coffee. He just took my pawn on e4. I kind of forgot the pawn was hanging, actually. Um, so let's go with... I think I'm going to go with queen f3. But then if queen f3 bishop here... Okay, well that doesn't really work. Because of knight takes. Queen e1 attacks the pawn. I 
I like queen f3 though. Maybe looking to play f5. Queen f3, queen e1, those are the moves I'm looking at. Like this. I better start moving faster because I'm using up a lot of my time. Already down to 7 minutes. He seems to be playing this pretty well. If he takes my bishop, I might have to take with the c-pawn. There's a bishop guarding here, so if queen f3, knight takes. If queen f3, knight takes, uh, and I play uh, a takes on b3, queen takes pawn. Rook to c1. There's no queen takes rook. Rook takes rook takes. This is a bishop guarding that square too. So he doesn't have to. He doesn't exchange his queen for two rooks. Hope I'm not blundering anything. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I might have to start moving a little bit faster here. The last video I made on Sunday was 30 minutes long. A little bit longer than I thought it would be, actually. Maybe this one will be longer. It's looking like this one might actually be longer. d5. Okay. So now this bishop becomes a pretty bad piece, staring at a rock. So if he takes my bishop, I'll actually be welcome to that. I wouldn't mind him taking my bishop now. But, hmm, yeah, I don't really like my position at all. I like f5, though. If f5, e5. Bishop takes pawn. Yeah, I think f5 is a, is a good move here. Because if he takes my pawn, I take the e pawn and the d pawn. I mean, and if he pushes, I I take the I take it anyway, and I'm threatening queen takes knight. Because if I push, and he pushes, attacking my knight, I take the pawn with the bishop. He takes my knight. I take his knight with check, and then I recapture on d4. So let's play f5. And I like the fact that this is an open file. Okay, he takes my bishop now. Um, I could play pawn takes pawn, but then he plays queen t uh, knight takes knight. I like this move. I think I want to keep my knight in the center. I think a ta simple a takes on b3 is fine. Okay, so how about this move? F takes on e6. Okay, so now we have an open F file. Down to five minutes. What to do? What to do? We have a check. I don't really see what that gets me though. I can attack the queen like this. Hmm. Doesn't seem too bad actually. I attack the queen, he pushes. Yeah, well, it attacks both my pieces at once. This knight is very out of play. I 
I think c3 looks pretty good. c3, pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Knight takes, queen takes. Rook here. Yes, looks pretty complicated. I feel like I have something good here, though. I'm not sure. Let's try c3. This might be, I think this is a pawn sacrifice. Hmm, down to three and a half minutes, almost less than four minutes. Trying to make something happen here. He's up a pawn, actually. I didn't realize that. All right, I think this move, queen to h5 check. And then I can take the rook. Um, all right, I better start moving a little bit faster here. I can get my pawn back. He might play uh, king d8, actually. Then I can take the rook, and after he recaptures, I can play rook f1. All right. So now, this looks like a pretty weak square. So, if rook takes, bishop takes, I like the look of that. I don't, I don't really need to grab this pawn right away. Let's play this move. This bishop is a very important piece. So now I can, let's go here. And now I'm threatening to take uh, the pawn on e6. There's no knight f2 check. I'm suddenly liking my position a little bit more than I did before. If he attacks my queen with knight d6, I can take this pawn anyway because it comes with check, and then I and then I take the bishop. Okay. So queen d6. I like pawn takes pawn, rook f1. I like rook f1, actually. I better be concerned with back rank weaknesses, though, but the bishop is guarding the c1 square. Let's go with rook f1. This guy is still out of play, though. I better not lose. I hope I don't lose on time. I might lose on time, actually. That would not be good at all. I actually do that a lot, actually. Lose on time by accident. Often I just like don't know what to do and stuff and end up losing on time. So I have a check here. I think it seems okay to grab this pawn. I better do something soon. Hold on. I can take here, bishop takes, no, it's not good. I 
I'm going to grab this pawn. I might grab the other one too. All right, he's taking this pawn. I might want to recapture with the knight. I could play this move. I don't know about that though. I think I like simply recapturing with the knight. Let's take with the pawn. Okay, so now I can take this pawn here, and it's a discovered attack against the rook. See, like this? So I'm winning the rook with this sequence. This should be pretty good for me with 145 to go on the clock. And now this bishop has some squares to work with, like b6. Alright, I think simply grab this rook. I'm going to lose this pawn though. I have a... Yeah. I have a check here. I have a check here. Um, what else do I have? If you see a good move, look for a better one. So I'm now up at the exchange, and the pawns are equal. I better do something quick, but I can, well, actually I can just take this pawn. I think I'm just going to take this pawn, actually. I don't see anything wrong with it. A minute 33 to go. This might be a longer video. We're on move 30 now. I like my position. He still has that bishop pair, but I've got a rook. The queens are still on the board. So, that could be a little bit of a problem. I still have a back rank issue with my king. There's still a check in the position here on a5. This rook really isn't doing anything on f1, though. This square is pretty well protected. Maybe on e1 or d1 would be better. All right, he's using a little bit of time here. The seagull is in the think tank. H6. H6. That's a that's a killer move. Killer move. I'm I think I like rook d1 threatening a discovered attack against his king and queen. I don't think h6 is really doing anything. All right. This looks pretty good for me. I think I should be getting a discovered attack against something. Well, actually, I can't. No, I can't actually do that because the rook is undefended. I can't actually do that. Here, let's play rook e1. Rook e1. I have very, very low on time now. All right. So now, I like this move, queen e3. Queen e3. Yeah, I mean, I could still lose this game. I could still potentially lose this game because my time is very low. I'm at one minute on the clock, but I gain, I gain 15 seconds every time I move, so I think I'm all right for now. It seems pretty hard to figure out how to defend this these bishops on the e-file with the king. 
All right. I think I can go ahead. I'm going to play this move. H3. Making sure that I don't get checkmated on the back rank. That move. All right. Let's offer a trade of queens. He might just take the pawn, though. He'll probably just take the pawn. I might have to really work to get this one. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm threatening some something here with queen d6 check. All right, let's let's exchange the queens and see if we can win this end game. It's not going to be easy. Let's move the Let's move the king up. All right, he attacks my bishop. Let's see if we can trade the bishops. Yeah, I don't Yeah, he trades bishops. That's Hmm. I don't know if I don't know if I would trade the bishops there if I'm black. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. All right, let's go here. He'll play bishop here, bishop f7. No, he doesn't. So we get a free pawn here. Uh-oh, I don't want to blunder the rook. I'm looking to play rook c1 at uh, rook c8 check. Rook a1 check. Um, I mean rook a1. Trying to get behind that pawn. I might have to sacrifice my rook for that pawn. Still not over until the skinny lady sings. Oh man, I need to calm down. Like, it's just a game. I'm like sitting here, kind of shaking a little bit, as if it's as if it's something more than just a game. Hey, if I lose this, hey, no big deal, no big deal at all. Uh, it's already seven seven fifteen in the morning here on Friday, Friday, June twenty eighth, actually. 4th of July is coming up. Probably going to go to a park with some friends and watch the fireworks on, from on top of a big hill. Yeah, that 30-minute video I did on Sunday took a while to render. It, uh, I think o almost an hour to render that video. This video might be almost twice as long, actually. I think I started recording this actually at uh six forty, so it's so it hasn't been as long as I thought. Maybe it's been forty minutes. Maybe almost forty minutes. Alright, so Seagull here is in the is in the think tank again. I still have a little bit of trouble with my time. Yeah, exchange, exchanging bishop for bishop a few moves ago didn't look very good for him, right here. Okay, he moved to the pawn. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. 
and now I can go here. All right, I'm probably going to have to sacrifice. For this, I don't think there's any way black. I don't think there's any way black can draw this game. Yeah, I think this should be pretty clean. Okay. Okay, slowly but surely find a way to get it done. He has to sacrifice for the pawn now, I think. Let's just, oh, that's not a good move. Wait, hold on. I have two minutes to work with now. All right, if I push B, if I push G7, then bishop d5, he has to play bishop d5. I think I'm just going to play this. h4, he'll probably play king f4 now. h5. Looks pretty resignable for the seagull. I think I should barely squeeze this out by the skin of my teeth here. Yeah, very interesting game. All right, h6. Two connected passers is going to be too strong for the bishop. And now he can't prevent h8. Hmm. Oh, he resigned. All right, let's go. He resigned. He resigned before I could even promote. So yeah, promoting was the next move. If I had played uh, g7 instead, he takes the pawn. If I had played g7, he takes the pawn, and then it's a draw. It's Yeah, I can't really see a way to win that, so it's important not to play g7 here and instead promote immediately. A wild game, and you came out on top. It says I have four mistakes and five blunders. Gee whiz. All right. So a 59 mover, and I squeezed it out barely to gain 15 rating points. So, yeah, let's go to the analyze and see where I went wrong. Real quick here. I don't know how long this video is. I just want to see. I just want to do this real quick. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of red and yellow I see there. A lot of mistakes, a lot of blunders by both sides, apparently. So, yeah, this is the main line in Sicilian defense. And now it's saying... Okay, so that's good. It's saying that's good. Yeah, b5. I knew that was an inaccuracy. It's, it's saying I should have played bishop to d5 there. So, yeah, that's a mistake. That's a missed win. It's saying that's a missed win. If I, if I had played... If I had played bishop takes knight... I'm not sure how that's a missed win, but all right. He just recaptures with the pawn. It's saying that's a missed win as well. It said I had zero missed wins. Now black is much better here, says the computer. Knight a4 apparently was best. I'm just kind of going through the, that's a how is that a blunder? Okay, so pawn takes pawn. Same pawn takes pawn was better. Alright, so now white's way better. After this bishop e7 move, white's a lot better. F takes on e6. Wow, and then I blundered again. 
So here, instead, e5 was better. I had queen a wow. I had queen f7 check. Here I had queen f7 check, and then after king d8. Let me look at this. Queen f7 check, queen d8, queen takes on g7, rook e8, knight takes on e6, bishop takes, and then bishop b6. Wow. All right. Blunders by both sides, a lot of them. Yeah, that's, that's the best move. Another good move. So a bunch of good moves in a row by both sides. That's a knight takes on e6. It's telling me knight takes on e6 is good here. And after queen takes... Then I play... Uh, bishop to b6 check, and after rook c7, queen takes on f8 check. Hmm, yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, here I played the best move, and it's discovered attack on the rook. Queen h8 check is an alternative. I thought about queen h8, but I didn't see uh, any real benefit to that, other than delaying taking the rook. d4? It's saying that's the best move. It looked like it was just blundering a pawn to me. Actually, here I could have played bishop... Uh, Rook, bishop e3 was best. Yeah, I thought maybe bishop uh, bishop f6 looked pretty good here. I missed that one. Yeah, that rook d1 move didn't really make any sense because the rook is undefended. I can't do a discovered attack. That's a blunder. And that's a blunder. Queen takes on e5 was best, it says. So I think the computer wants black to exchange the queens. Queen g7 check was... Okay, so queen g7 check apparently was much better than taking the queen. And yeah, I see it. I can definitely see why that's better. Rook a1 was better. Yeah, I knew bishop takes was a mistake. He needed, he needed the bishop pair if he wanted to draw this. Yeah, and there just wasn't much I could, wasn't much he could do after I got these pass pawns rolling. Saying rook takes on a2 is better here. I decided to let his king actually hit the corner to make his king farther away. So yeah, barely squeezed it out by the skin of my teeth. All right. So I think that's going to do it. I'm not very good with outros, apparently. Uh, this this video has been going on way longer than it should be. But I will be back and recording game number three next Friday, and we will be awaiting my first loss. Still have not had it yet. Two games under my belt here on this channel, and I still have not lost yet, so I expect to lose eventually. You know, you got to get that first loss under your belt eventually. It'll probably happen pretty soon. But not this one. I, I thought I was going to lose this game, to be honest, at uh, a few certain points. But uh, but uh, squeezed it out at the end here with the two pass pawns and against the bishop. The bishop has no not much power against the two connected passers like that. But anyway, I will see y'all next Friday. If anybody happens to be watching, I, instead, I should be saying I'll, I'll see the board again next Friday. I'll see myself next Friday. <laughs> I mean, I, I doubt anyone's watching, but if you are, cool. But if not, I will be back next Friday anyway, so I'll see you later.